Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and today I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a while, which is a from scratch spread. I felt like I had pretty much done everything I wanted to do with that, but for some reason I'm missing it now, so I'm going to attempt another from scratch spread here. And because I had requests for more Fobonichi planner spreads, I'm going to do the from scratch spread using my DIY Fobonichi and I did print my own grid paper typically I like to use dot grid but because I already had grid paper printed I'm going to go ahead and use that so I'm going to take out two sheets it's already punched and generally I would start with putting washi tape down the center um, but I don't know that I want to repunch this I did get this washi recently from Walmart that I wanted to use for this spread. So this um, little tube of washi was $1.88 from Walmart. So not a bad deal. And this is what it comes with. Got your florals. That was my main interest. These, these were my favorites. This one I could do without. I think I'm going to save this for my blackout spread. So I'm going to put these two aside. I'm not going to use those. Uh, I think I can use this as divider. I think I'm going to go with these two as my main two. And then probably use something else to complement them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a spare sheet of grid paper. Get another sheet out. And I'm going to fold that in half because we're going to do a horizontal spread and I need four uh, four boxes on each page and because I'm probably going to run some washi across the top and the bottom I'm not going to fold it all the way to the top I'm going to fold it maybe three blocks from the top so and then let me fold this over what that does is it gives me room at the top and the bottom for washi and still gives me four equal boxes if you can see that on the page so to mark that all I would do is place this against the sheet that I want to use take a pencil and just put a tick mark by each fold so I'm gonna mark that by just placing this on lining it up as straight as I can and then I'm going to just put a little tick mark showing where each fold falls just kind of keep it straight okay so oh, I missed one So now I know I can draw my line here, 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 here. And then I can do the same thing on the other side. Just line it up. And what you can do is just take your ruler and go ahead and darken those lines so that you can use this again and again. If you're like me, it's kind of hard sometimes to see where those fold lines are. So if you actually draw those in, you can use this as a template for future spreads. So I'm just going through creasing them a little bit better and I will probably draw my lines later. Not now. And then I'm just going to pop this into the back of my Fobonichi so that I can use it again and again and again and I'll have it right there available and ready to use okay so now that we have that I just need to decide what washi I'm going to use at the top and the bottom and I've already decided to use these as my divider washies so let's go ahead and do the dividers 
and as I generally do I'm going to alternate this and I'm going to actually put the washi in the center so that the center of the washi is over where I made the tick mark and I'm going to use this pin and gear ruler that also came from Walmart it was also a dollar eighty-eight cents I'm using that to trim the washi Then I'm going to go to this next one and center it. And this washi says enjoy today. I don't think this washi is true washi. It's not very forgiving. So you might want to be careful <laughs> with it when you're placing it down. Making sure that you um, have it in the exact space that you want it. Before you really press it down onto the page. Because it's not, it's not tearing very easily. And it definitely isn't going to come up easily. There we have our boxes, except for our top and bottom boxes need to be defined. And I don't think I'm going to be using a Walmart washi for that. For some reason, I want to use this black and white heart washi. I think I will. It's not something that I use often. I just feel like I want to use it, so let's do it. I think this washi came from Target. Target dollar spot and I'm just going to even though my little tick mark is a little uh, wider than this I'm just going to take it all the way down to I mean take it all the way to the edge of the page I'm not going to sweat that little space and let's get this off Maybe it's the ruler. Maybe I should stick to tearing washi with my Old Faithful because the metal is not doing the trick like I thought it would. Okay, I think that looks kind of cute. Can work with that. Let's try not to waste washi. Yeah, I don't think maybe it wasn't the washi, maybe it was the washi cutter. Because that cuts so much easier on this ruler. Now do we want to do the same thing at the bottom? Or do we want to do something different? I wonder what we can do with this. And this came from one of my all-time favorite tubes from uh, Michael's. No, we need to stick with the black and white, definitely. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm just going to take it all the way to the edge, even though my tick mark is a little higher. So here's where we are. And maybe it would have looked better with a washi down the spine area. It's not too late. We can still do that. I like this for it. But it's so wide. And I'd have to center this just right to get it to work. Okay. So now let's make this sure this is folded back out of the way. Let's take this off. line this up now you don't need to do all of this um, I just like to go the extra mile to make sure that it's straight because if it's not it's gonna drive me crazy 
so I think it's easier just to flip it over and line it up that way. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Ta-da! I think the black and white giant polka dots made a difference. So, yep. and it used up some of that washi. So now, the scary part is cutting it in half. I should probably do this with my paper trimmer because I'm not good with scissors, but we can muscle through. Okay, now let's repunch before I go too far. I'm using the arc punch from Staples. <laughs> ah, I lined it up right. Hopefully all that washi tape's not stuck to the bottom of the um, thingy my bobs of the punches. Okay, so now we have our layout. Now we can just get to planning. Add the days of the week, however you want to do it. I think I want to use the big Happy Planner numbers on this and then maybe stamp. So I'm going to be using these day of the week stamps from that I got from Go Mine and Coco. I think they were a special collab, so I don't think that they're still available on her website, but this is what they look like. And they were hand lettered specifically for this collab, I believe. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way. I'm also going to be using the stamp, I think it's called a platform um, from Tim Holtz so that I don't have to stamp these individually. If you're using stamps like this, you can use one of these stamp um, tool, stamping tools, I guess you would call it. Or you could just use a regular acrylic block like this. This is just a stamp that I have on here. Um, they even at one point in time had acrylic blocks in Dollar Tree. They looked more like this. They were thinner and straight edged. But yeah. So if you get lucky, you might actually find an acrylic block in Dollar Tree. Okay. So I'm just going to do one sheet at a time so that I can use both magnets. This is how it works. It has these really strong magnets. I have mine wrapped in washi tape. I don't suggest picking them up. Let's see, I had washi on there. I don't suggest picking them up. I suggest just sliding them where you need them to be and also keeping them away from each other because they're really strong and when they get together they <laughs> do like that and they can break. You can pinch your fingers. Yeah, and it and that hurts. I've pinched my fingers, so I can speak from experience. Keep the magnets away from each other. Okay, so I'm just going to place these down the way that I want them to appear. Uh, this is Monday. It's kind of hard to place these. I've used these stamps once before when I did the um, date cover, the DIY date covers, and they turned pink. So I don't know why they seem to be fine. It's just probably a reaction to the whatever the uh, clear poly whatever stuff. Oh, I gotta move. I got my um, magnet too far to the edge. I need to move that in. Um, it's probably just a reaction of the ink to the material that was used to create the stamps, but. They're really sticky. They pull the paper up. I don't understand. Hopefully that's not going to cause a problem. Where's that piece of washi tape? I'm going to washi tape it down. I don't think that's going to help much. But Okay, so here I'm just using this ink. It's from Tuesday morning. It's Black Raven by Ranger. It's the dye ink. I'm going to go ahead and ink these up. And try not to get ink everywhere. I'm not a good inker. I tend to 
wobble the ink pad and get ink on the platform. I think that's good and inked. So we got Monday, Tuesday. That is Wednesday, right? And then I just close it and press it firmly to make sure that I get a good impression. Let it sit for a couple of seconds to allow the ink to soak into the paper. And voila, it didn't stamp perfect. Let's do some more on Tuesday. Hopefully it didn't move too much. Get that ink off. So that my Tuesday will still be lined up properly. And everything else. Okay, I'm going to leave well enough alone. And I just use hand sanitizer to clean the stamps. But I'm not going to bore you with that right now. Um, let's move on to the other page. Let's get that over out of the way. Cover the ink. I try to remember to cover up my ink in between uses to keep it juicy and to um, keep from having little accidents because I will get ink everywhere. I do have little accidents with the ink pads. But that doesn't deter me from using it. I mean, you're going to mess up, so just fix it as best as you can and keep it moving. You can't let little mistakes stop you from doing stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Besides, and if you've been watching my plan with me videos, I don't know why people are afraid of doing things, but if you've been watching my plan with me videos, especially my from scratch spreads, you'll see that I make mistakes all like I'm getting ready to make one right now. I make mistakes on my spreads all the time, all the time, and I just figure out a way to fix it or cover it up or just leave it because. It just happens. It's a part of creating, I think. If you did everything perfect, there would be no challenge in it. Okay, so let's stick our days of the week to the lid. Again, I keep doing this, putting the magnet in the wrong place. Okay. That bugs me. It should not be moving like that. But anywho, nothing I can do about it. Probably need to get additional magnets maybe. Because these rubber stamps are so sticky, icky, icky. And I probably over ink. But again, I'm not really that good at this. I don't do it that often. Especially since I stopped doing from scratch spread. So... I'm probably doing it all wrong, but if it works, I'm good with it. Now see, I got the magnet in the wrong place again. And this time I'm gonna make sure I apply a good amount of pressure so that hopefully we can do it with one impression this time. Sorry if I'm bumping the camera. Oh, I didn't do it in one impression. Just a kind of, um, kind of light. Let's try some more. And I've heard people say to store your ink upside down so that the ink settles at the top of the, which will be the top of the pad. I try to remember to do that to turn it upside down, but I don't always remember. I mean, it seems logical that gravity would pull the ink down, so I do it. Not sure that it works, but I do it. Sunday is just not cooperating, and I think I inked the wrong thing. Uh, 
hopefully this won't make a boo-boo. Okay, let's leave well enough alone. Yep, let's leave well enough alone. Okay, so let's slide our magnets off. Since we're stamping, let's go ahead and possibly do the days of the week. I mean, the, the dates. Let's see. Because I could use the... I have the stickers of the Happy Planner, the, the really big numbers, but I don't really want to use them up. So let's use the date stamps. Okay, so these are my favorite date stamps from the Happy, and they're from the Happy Planner. So I guess they will fit. It's just going to take up quite a bit of space, but we're going to work with it. So this is the week of. So this would be the 28th. Let's start there. This, I'm probably going to need to stamp manually. So let's get rid of the stamp press. And the reason I'm going to have to do it manually is because the numbers are split, meaning I don't have a 1 through 31. So I'm going to have to put them together on the block. It just doesn't make any sense of going through the trouble of trying to stamp them the other way. So I'm going to get a block out and let's clean it off. It's just a little, it only takes a little bit, a little hand sanitizer, a little hand sanitizer. Might have some glue on here too. Okay. So we're going to do, we're going to work our way back, I think. So we're going to start with 28. And I probably should have some kind of cushion under my paper to help with the stamp impression. Um, this little piece of foam was part of the packaging. Thunder. This little piece of foam was part of the packaging. So I'm going to try it on here and see what happens. Um, probably need to put something like a piece of cardboard on top of it just in case. Make my own little stamp pad. Or maybe a piece of paper folded in half would do it. This was some paper I used for a pen test so we just use this underneath. Hopefully that'll work out. Okay. Let's get this. And again, this doesn't have to take this long either. I'm just basically taking my time and chit chatting while I'm doing it. If I just shut it down and get busy, it wouldn't take this long. So let's get in the corner and do it. Now the thing with doing this is you don't get second chances. So I know on the next one for 27, I think I want to um, move the numbers a little closer together. That, those are a little far apart. So let's, ooh. Let's move them a little closer. every time that little piece of foam is actually giving me pretty good impressions hmm. who knew okay I guess I'll keep that <gasps> that was almost an accident <laughs> I almost dropped this uh, block
not bad okay so there we have a from scratch spread or layout and it'll become a spread once we add some stickers and whatnot and this is what I keep my printed stickers in and some of the big sheets of regular stickers it's like a top load file folder so I just have all the printed ones here in the front or the print and cut ones so I already know that I want to use the JDM Brooklyn car maintenance girl on this spread because I'm having car trouble and I pretty much know the beginning part of my week is going to be filled with dealing with that so I think she would be fitting so let me find her I don't have these organized in any way whatsoever I kind of just toss them in here as I create them as I cut them and keep going okay so here she is and I'm gonna use kind of a bigger size because this is a big deal <laughs> this is a problem and then I think I want to use a quote to help me stay positive for what's gonna come next because it looks like I'm gonna have to spend some money that I don't have to either fix it or replace it and I'm going to hope for the best. I've had my truck for a very long time though, so this is the gigantic Happy Planner sticker book. It was available at Joanne and I'm just looking to see, looking for a positive quote. <laughs> see if anything jumps out at me I don't think there were very many quotes in this book I'm not so thrilled with any of those let's see what choose happy has it's got some ginormous quotes that choose gratitude that's a good one so that I don't can remind myself not to get down in the dumps. I think I'm gonna go with that one. I'm not in the mood to flip through a thousand sticker books and hopefully there's room for it to fit nicely. And the sticker jumped down on the page before I was ready. But <laughs> Okay, so I got a little air bubble in there. I'm going to take the rounded edge of my ruler and press that down and get the air bubble out. And let's see if I can actually move my mechanic girl over a little bit because I don't like that the E is on her. Where are my tweezers? Again, you do not have to take this long to do this. I'm just going above and beyond. Uh, I need to hurry up and get her up before she adheres. If you know, didn't know, yeah, she's pretty stuck. Um, you can sometimes get a sticker up if the adhesive hasn't really taken to the paper. So if it's like something that you just put down, you can sometimes depending on the type of paper it is get it right back up okay so I'm just going to move her over just a hair so that she is not interfering with the quote there we go okay I haven't used any of my wrong wrong stickers I haven't used this thing at all So I think I'm going to use some wrong wrong. Let's see what other wrong wrong we got going on because they look hot. 
not hot as in good, but hot as in they're sweating. Uh, nope. Let's go back to this one. Let's just pick one. There, I used one of my wrong wrong stickers. <laughs> um, she looks so hot <laughs> with long sleeves on and jeans. I just can't do it. Um, yeah, okay, that's enough playing with wrong wrong. Let's go on to the mom sticker book because I think I need some stickers out of there. Okay, here we go. It's mom mini. Any birthdays? Oh yeah, my friend's birthday is that day. Okay. And then I'm gonna put one of the JDM Brooklyn balloon dolls. Get to use one of those right away. So this is my notebook of dolls. That's all I'm going to do for that. And let's go ahead and use these because on Thursdays we go grocery shopping sometimes. Okay. Then we're going to plan on Sunday. These came in right on time. JD and Brooklyn. Then we're going to definitely check post office Monday. I'll should have did it today, but I didn't. I don't do the nail polish thingy. I do watch TV on Saturdays. Watch vintage TV. And those are perfect. Okay, JD and Brooklyn, I need more of those. Let's see what we got here. Any appointments I do need to get on that laundry I'll put that for Tuesday if I can get it up sorry my hands are cramping there we go let's do that in the morning I'm going to put the cleaning on. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to use the ones I started already and put cleaning on Wednesday, which will probably happen on Thursday. Set the trash out on. I know I have some trash stickers somewhere. There we go. Let's straighten this up a little bit set the trash out on Wednesday and vacuum again I'm gonna re-vacuum vacuum again on Friday do the floors We already got shopping. Let's do our payday. On Wednesday. And I think we are good. Come through JD and Brooklyn with the stickers. For pretty much everything I need. I'm going to still flip through the mom sticker book but I think I'm good uh, 
I need to buy some more of those plastic sleeves so I can spread those things out and see what I actually have. I don't think I need any of these. I'm going to put chores down. I normally do that on Thursdays, but I'm going to do it on Wednesday since it's my friend's birthday on Thursday. This mom book isn't what I thought it was. I thought it was the one that had all of the, um, I'm going to put the pay bills sticker down. I thought it was the one that had those little icons in it. I need to start remembering to look at the back. I guess it doesn't. And I don't feel like looking for the one that does. So I'm just going to call it good. I think I, I've used all the icons that I would possibly want anyway. So this is going to be a before the pen spread. Because pretty much my stickers have shown what I need to do for the week. So I don't need to go in really and write much and just do a little to do uh, at the beginning of the day or the night before of what I'm going to do the next day but this is pretty much it so again this week is up in the air because of transportation issues as well so so that's it for this from scratch plan with me if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you want to see more from scratch planner spreads, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!